it seems like apart from the normal recession, we could also be facing the imminent danger of facing a meat recession. Masses of cattle are now disappearing from our food supply chains. Join us today as we investigate what's actually happening here. Now it all first started when an online meat delivery company, Good Ranchers, put out a warning to consumers on social media saying that a meat recession is knocking and supply is about to be tight as cattle herds continue to shrink in US. The cattle herd has shrunk due to droughts, Good Ranchers wrote on its Instagram account. Our total meat supply for the coming year is down significantly. This is one of the main reasons a meat recession is coming. Walter Kunish, who is a senior commodities strategist at Hilltop Securities, he agreed with Good Ranchers and told reporters that United States beef cattle supplies will continue to shrink throughout the 2023, which will drive up the prices for consumers. Kunish said, we believe that an acute and protracted drought in the southwest U.S. is responsible for increased culling of beef cattle, which is leaving the U.S. structurally short beef cattle and beef supplies. Even the USDA reported that the number of cattle moving from pasture into a feedlot to be prepared for slaughter in September declined by 4% nationwide year over year. In some states like Kansas, that number was as high as 11%. The biggest issue in the case is that droughts have been lingering in key cattle-producing states in the Southwest, such as Kansas, Nebraska, Oklahoma, and Texas, since last year. There's been an acute drought in those states for the better part of 2022, and there hasn't been much relief either. States like Texas have not seen consistent rainfall since September 2021. As a result, the availability of pasture has declined. That drought has been so prolonged, the opportunities to graze or for ranchers to put cattle in the pasture has sharply declined, which is forcing ranchers to put cattle in feedlots at a faster pace. In the summer months, things have gotten even worse. With drought impacting the vast majority of U.S. farmland and particularly affecting Texas ranchers, an unprecedented sell-off started to take place due to the lack of water, high feed prices, and financial pressures weighing on farmers and ranchers. By July 1, the volume of cattle going to auction was up about 20% from the same time in 2021, and the proportion of the animals over 600 pounds was way below the normal. As if that wasn't a bad enough situation for us, breeders have also started culling unbred female cattle at a higher rate to meet with the demand, which again reduces the supply of future animals available for slaughter. Unfortunately, even when the drought finally begins to fade away, and the pasture conditions have improved a lot, ranchers will now likely start retaining females for breeding in an attempt to increase their breeding stock. When the ranchers do this, supplies will become even thinner. It will take around 19 to 24 months from the time a rancher decides to use a female for breeding to when the offspring are ready to be slaughtered for the meat. And it's not just the lack of cattle, other commodities are also causing these price increases. Higher costs for corn, wheat, and operating costs such as fuel and labor are creating higher cattle prices, which can lead to higher beef prices. Thus the term meat recession. We've all seen and felt the steep price increases on our favorite meats over the past year. Inflation kept outdoing itself month after month after month. This was in large part due to the fact that feed for farmers was at an all-time high. The production costs of meat then soared and this increase was passed on to us customers and the consumer. Some of the major reasons why this could be real are these. Reason number one could be that the cattle herd is shrinking. As we discussed earlier in the video, according to USDA data, the US cattle herd is down 2% from where it was in July of 2021. A major factor to the decline has been the droughts impacting Texas ranchers. Many of these herds are being sold to markets when they normally wouldn't be brought for years. This is due to lack of water, high feed prices, or financial pressure on the farmers and ranchers themselves. Reason two could be that beef shortage can also cause the chicken shortage. Now you will agree that when one meat becomes harder to afford or find, people gravitate towards a new one that has a better price or easier access. As affordable beef has become harder to find, people have turned towards chicken. Unfortunately, the price increases have even hit poultry and with increasing demand it's going to increase even more. The Consumer Price Index shows a 16.4% increase in the price of chicken from Jan to April of 2022. And with the bird flu outbreak that happened in 2021, 
the prices continue to increase for chicken, even in 2022. As more people are giving up the meat, they love for the meat they can find, chicken will become more scarce and more expensive with time. And the worker shortages in the processing plants have made pre-cut and pre-trimmed pieces of chicken even harder to find, and very pricey when available. And the reason three could be the fact that a meat tax is now coming. According to FAIRR, a carbon tax that's attached to farm animal emissions is gathering momentum globally, especially in the countries of Europe. This tax would put direct pressure on farms and ranches to reduce their emissions by significant margins. Now if you don't know, to make these cuts in the emissions by large margins you must cut your herd size by a lot. A meat tax would be devastating to any farm or ranch trying to make a living for themselves while providing affordable products for us. As it turns out, we're now seeing the impact of this meat tax with Dutch farmers as they protest over emission cuts. The Dutch farmers are amazing at what they do, and this tax is tying their hands. This is certainly something to keep our eyes open to. The independent farms and ranches that are in work here in America cannot sustain and should not face to bear such a tax. The cost of meat has emerged as somewhat of a bright spot in a year when relentless price increases have battered the economy and raised fears that a recession may be unavoidable. Meat inflation ticked up slightly compared with the 7% rate seen before, but prices in the sector are tamer than food prices as a whole. The U.S. The Bureau of Labor Statistics Food at Home Index hit a 13.5% annual rate, the fastest pace since March 1979. The closely watched metric has touched a higher level every month on a year-over-year -year basis since May 2021, when it was a benign 0.7% and it has not only hit the beef prices, but also with various meats. But the pork seems to be unaffected for now, 